Turning to sports, it was a big day at Providence College. The Friars officially introducing Kim English and Aaron Bath as the new head coach of the men's and women's basketball teams. Sports director Maury Hirsch Gordon was there. Joins us now live in studio with the latest, Maury. Yeah, Mike, this morning, the brand new nucleus of Providence College basketball on full display inside Alumni Hall. Standing room only as English and Bath were greeted by Friartown. We have the opportunity to go one on one with one of the key people responsible for the hires. Well, one of the central figures in hiring Kim English and Aaron Bath here to Friartown, Steve Napolillo, athletic director, 1998 graduate of the school, Rhode Island through and through. What does this day mean for the school, for you personally, and for the basketball programs that you oversee? I'm just so excited for the community, the city, the state, every Friar fan out there. Is, this is a special day because I wanted to make sure I brought new members of the Friar family who not only stood for what Providence College stands for, but has huge potential, and uh, I think as you saw, great days ahead in Friartown. You know what Friartown's all about, but when Aaron and Kim walk in with their families side by side, and they're wide-eyed, and they see what this fan base is all about, you think that got, that got the engines going a little bit? I think any time, you know, going through the process and you tell people how special Friartown is, until you jump in, I think they're like, oh yeah, you know, and I, I was just so happy for them. I, I couldn't put into words how excited I am. I mean, my hands are still shaking, the adrenaline's pumping, but I, I mean it. We have such great fans, such great support. This day is about them. For Aaron Bass specifically in the women's basketball program that plays right here in this gym, uh, what are your goals for her in the first couple of years, and, and where do you think she can take this program? Marty, like I said, PC women's basketball is on the map, officially starting today. She's going to compete at a high level. She was exactly what I was looking for her energy, her passion, her vision. She wants to be great. She does it with a little toughness and also a lot of love, which is what our program needed. So great days ahead. Steve, your slogan is purpose with passion. Kim's is mindset. What is the mindset of the men's basketball program as you turn a chapter and you look to continue to progress and move forward? Well, as I said, you know, I'm grateful for what Coach Cooley and his staff did for 12 years. They brought us to a new level. But we're looking to take it, as Coach Kim said, to the next level. And their mindset has to be, let's be great. Purpose with passion, strive for excellence, and have the right mindset to get it done. And many players from both men's and women's teams front and center this morning listening to their new head coaches. For the men's side, it included Bryce Hopkins and Devin Carter. Could a return to PC be in the cards? I'll have that new tonight at 6. Live in studio, Maury Hirsch Gordon, 12 News. There was a party in Friartown this morning as PC officially introduced their new basketball coaches. Club Sports Director Maury Hirsch Gordon was there for the ceremony and talked one on one with the man who is stepping into Ed Cooley's shoes. Maury? Yeah, Shannon, the new chapter for Providence basketball publicly introduced this morning on campus in front of an energized capacity crowd at Alumni Hall. Take a look at these pictures. This was the moment right around 11 a.m. Kim English leading the way hand in hand with his two young daughters. Right behind him, Aaron Bath, the new women's coach. Both represent new beginnings in the school's storied history. We caught up with English. Here's part of our conversation. The newest PC men's basketball head coach joining us now in Kim English, and it's official. You've got the, the pin oh, yeah. on the jacket. Here we go. You were just up on stage in front of a, a packed gym here. What, what is it like now to be, you know, the official head coach? It's been a, it's been a little bit, but yeah. to see people in person. Yeah, you know, it's been official. You know, we've been working, you know, uh, since last week. It was great. You know, I've never really been big on press conferences. I want to, everyone's talking about winning the press conference. I want to win our first game, you know, so that's always been the focus. But to walk out here and see and feel this reception, it just, uh, you know, really hammered home what I knew about PC, what I felt and believe about how special this place is and, and even how special it can be. When you say something is different here, what is different? Uh, about Friar Town and what you hope to lead for years to come. It's just I'm not sure people outside of this place actually know. You know everything about Providence athletics, you know the fan support. Every place I've been, I've been an outlier in the league. You know Kentucky, Tennessee. You know UCLA, Arizona. You know it, 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 Dayton, VCU, St. Louis, in the Atlantic Ten. Um, you know in the Big Twelve, Kansas and Texas. I'm not sure everyone knows that Providence is that. Providence is fans, Providence is facilities, Providence is, Providence is commitment to athletics. It's done at the highest level of college basketball, and uh, that's different. That's different, and I'm um, really excited to be a part of it. 
I also asked English about continuing to retain talent on his roster. His answer about who he wants to build next year's team around coming up in sports. Live in studio, Maury Hirsch, Gordon, 12 News.